Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Inky Fingered Cat. And I'd love to say I made this, but I did not. It was my lovely friend Marie. It's circle journal, journal time and I've not done a video for ages and I need to get this done this weekend so I can go on its journey. So um, I thought I would video the process. But I have to just say, this is the most adorable, adorable little mermaid. And what's really cool is it goes over onto the other side. So you've actually got, I don't think I can actually get the camera far enough away to see the whole picture in one. But look how absolutely stunning that is. I tell you what, Nat Marie, she's a talent. So I'm not going to give you sneak peeks of everybody's because I want it to be a surprise for Marie. But I've decided, if I just cover that up with a piece of paper, I'm going to see it then. I decided I want to decorate this one, okay, because it's an unusual shape and I thought that would be a bit fun. I have absolutely no plan in mind at all. Uh, but the rules are, let's just look back at what Marie's rules were. The rules were that you please decorate both sides of an envelope plus extra flaps if you wish. There is a card inside each envelope for stability. It's up to you if you want to decorate it too. Have fun, love Marie. Right. So, let's have a little look what we've got inside this one. I actually think I'm going to leave it in for stability. Love the cameras though, that's already given me a little bit of an idea. But I think I'm going to leave it in for stability, especially since the paper's got, uh, the envelopes have got those little holes. So I think my first job is actually to seal it. So, I'm going to do that. And then... Um, make a start. So I'm going to probably pop all this into fast forward because there's no way on earth I'm going to put a video out that's as long as it takes me to decorate a journal. Um, so I hope you enjoy.
going to leave this here for now because um, it needs to dry properly um, completely so I can then go in and start doing some pen work. Um, but just as a quick recap on what I've done so far is I've used a few different colours of um, the Paper Art Sea Fresco Finish Paint. So I started, oh, I started with a layer of the uh, black gesso, then went in with a layer of guacamole. Then a layer of Bora Bora. Um, then I did some printing uh, using the South Pacific and the um, green patina using um, here we go, a little piece of cardstock that's living cardstock, uh, painting that and then pressing it in. Then I did stenciling using amethyst and some chartreuse um, and the black gesso again. Also did a really small amount of stamping, I've kept stamping really small this time. Um, some Kindello stamps and I've just partial stamped in the black gesso for the moment. Loads of splatters. Uh, and a little bit of white gesso for the lines and the, another layer of splatters. So this is a piece of wallpaper which is actually on my daughter's bedroom. And I've got some leftovers and when I saw that paper that I'd got the cameras on I thought ah, I've got some of that leftover wallpaper I can use for my focal image. So that's the starting point. No idea how close to the finish I actually am but I'm really happy with what I've got so far. So I'm going to leave it be, leave it to dry and come back to it. So um, I'll be switching the video off and you'll see me again in a minute. Bye. Right, so everything's dry now. Time to do some pen work. Okay, I think I finished. So I've added lots of pen work, um, some more stamping using a few Emma Godfrey stamps and the um, Claire Lloyd Express Yourself stamp. What else have I done? Added the little stickers for adding the sentiment. Added some um, shading to darken up the edge of the camera so that it looks slightly more 3D. Same for the sentiments just to get them to stand out a little bit more. I think there is something missing. That's a bit of sparkle. 
No me, can't do something without sparkle, so let's add a little sparkle. Um, I think we'll go for, yeah, a little bit of champagne sparkle. Um, a little bit of water adding. I just say I absolutely love these brushes they're like my favorite thing now favorite go-to because they are just amazing for adding splashes I just thought this needed a little bit of spark Stay at my desk, it's just a complete tip. Wasn't clean when I started, uh, it wasn't clear when I started this project, and certainly is not clear now. So that's better. I've now got loads of shimmer and shine on it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up for the video or not, but hopefully, you can see some of it shining. Um, I just love that. So, that's side one, side two to be done, uh, but that'll have to be another video because I think this is a long enough video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, it was quite nice to video it for a change, uh, I've not really been doing very many videos at all because I've not really had use of my craft room for a couple of weeks, so it was nice to play. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do give me a thumbs up so that I know that I'm doing the right sort of thing, that people are enjoying what I'm doing. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos. Until next time, bye!